Tama turns 50 this year and to celebrate this they released a limited run of the pedal I think every drummer knows, the Iron Cobra. Specifically their 900 series Iron Cobra which is Tama's flagship model and available in two different colors. Marble Coral Swirl and Marble Psychedelic Rainbow which Tama actually sent me to review. So let's check it out. Although there are two different color finishes to choose from, every single pedal is actually one of a kind and there are no two pedals out there looking exactly the same, which is pretty cool. How Tama achieves this wild looking finish is also quite impressive. The vibrant colors get transferred to the metal with a method called hydro dipping. Maybe you've seen similar things done for car parts or some exotic looking guitars. You have a tank full of water and the ink is floating on top, then the pedal is dipped into the liquid and the ink wraps around the parts which creates a unique pattern every time. What I find really cool is that after the paint is dry they machine all the logo parts out of the foot blade achieving this super clean and precise look. From what I've heard Tama also did excessive testings on these pedals to make sure that the finish won't wear off so I think there's nothing to worry about that. But enough talking about what these Iron Cobras look like, let's check out how they perform. In fact, I don't have anything bad to say about these pedals performance wise. After all, the 900 is Tama's flagship model and therefore you can absolutely expect only the best of the best. Every part is thought through so well and you can absolutely tell that a lot of engineering went into every single screw. Since this particular model is basically a regular 900 series in a new limited finish and I don't want to turn this into an hour long video, I won't go over all the specs because there are plenty of reviews covering all that already out there, but I want to point out a few things that I find especially remarkable. The first thing that stood out to me is the swiveled spring tight. The bottom fixture of the spring can swivel loosely so that the spring always stays in a straight line while playing. To me this is an absolute ingenious design and I truly wish that this could be found on every single bass drum pedal out there. Another really cool feature is the Cobra Coil, an adjustable spring underneath the footboard that helps the pedal to get back into its starting position, allowing you to play even faster. As someone who likes to crank up the springs to the max so that the pedal board basically never loses touch to my foot, I could immediately feel the difference from that Cobra Coil and I do think that it also saves some energy in my shins. The only little flaw I found is concerning the pedal case. In the first place it's pretty awesome that Tama actually provides you with a case for every Iron Cobra purchase to carry everything you need. That's great service. But I for example like to play my pedals with the spring tension set to max and when it's set up this way this small edge inside the case prevents it from closing all the way. So I'd actually have to untighten that one spring every time to close the case. However all other settings stay the same so you don't have to readjust your pedal every time except for that one spring. It would be really cool if Tama would change this very tiny design flaw in the future in favor of those drummers that like to play their pedals with very tight springs. Concerning everything else and especially the pedal itself there are no complaints whatsoever and all the hardware parts are flawless. But that's what Tama is known for. For 50 years now they have been pushing and pioneering the drum world and inventing new and revolutionary hardware with ingenious designs that simply work and in my opinion come very close to perfection.
in these days where a lot of extreme metal drummers are going after the fastest pedals in the world made with longer and longer pedal boards and using hyper light materials from outer space, which I'm also guilty of by the way, how suitable is an Iron Cobra for fast double bass? Let's put this to the test. For that, here's an exercise I like to do whenever I don't have a lot of time but still want to get my double bass and blast beat workout in. Set the metronome to a fast tempo of your choosing, use only hi-hat and ride, no crashes or toms, and play an equal number of bars of double bass and blast beats for as long as you want. Or can. is of course different coming from a longboard but I don't really think that I'm that much slower with the Iron Cobra or have less endurance when playing double bass. If anything I'd say I have even a tiny bit more endurance on these pedals thanks to the Cobra coil underneath the pedal board. In conclusion this pedal is an outstandingly solid piece of gear that would serve everyone who's looking for a reliable and very versatile pedal for pretty much every music genre very well. I myself made my first double bass experiences on an Iron Cobra and most of my drummer friends did too. So I think there's a good reason why for decades now Iron Cobra is the first recommendation you hear whenever someone asks which pedal to get. Congratulations Tama on your 50th anniversary and thanks for letting me check out these awesome pedals. It was truly a very fun and nostalgic adventure for me. But that's gonna be it from me. A big thanks to all these people over here for supporting the channel and to Toby from Roadkill Music Production for mixing the audio examples on this one. If you're interested in hours and hours of exclusive bonus content like outtakes, behind the scenes footage, making offs, lessons and monthly live streams, click here and consider becoming a patron. If you want to see another video here on YouTube, check out this one which YouTube thinks would be the most interesting for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.